Hey everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'll be showing you how you can save text using a save file dialog or save other stuff using the save file dialog. And um, I probably should have shown this with the video where I showed how to use the open file dialog. But anyways, let's just get started. First of all, let's say we are gonna add text box and then we click over here and choose multi line now we can like do this and we're gonna add a button that says save and then we add a save file dialog okay so um when the user clicks on save these are the stuff that are gonna happen first of all save file dialog 1 which is the name of the save file dialog that we added here is gonna show show up so save the, the dot show dialog this will just gonna show the dialog and nothing else will happen and then we need to save the location that the user is gonna select so save file dialog 1 dot file name now it has to be stored somewhere so we are gonna declare a variable let's say location because it's gonna save a location as string string because it's gonna be like all text normally locations are just a bunch of text location equals to the file name so now we have the location we have the, the location saved in the variable location this is not even gonna do the main thing the main saving is gonna be done with this code here my dot computer dot file system dot write all text and now that we have the location we can just say location and the text that will be saved which is from text box one so dot text and um, we have to add something like true which is a balloon uh, we just have okay so now it's gonna work so let's say I wrote um, like this video and click on save it's gonna go over to somewhere on my computer let's say I'm gonna save it here and I'm gonna have to name the file something let's say test one click on save now that should do it right but um, if we go over here we're gonna find that the text file is not usable because it doesn't have an extension it needs to have something like dot txe in order to like be viewed so we're gonna fix that right now what we have to do here is with the location we need we have to add the extension txt now we could have added the extension while saving the file like with the file name but to make the make this easier for the user we can it's gonna be added by default by the because of the code let's say copy or something here and click on save let's say text to and click on save this time it can be viewed because it has an extension and you can read this so yeah and also you can customize your save form dialog you can add a title to it which is like totally up to you depends on what you're working with save that so it's totally up to you you can add filters so that only files you can do like a bunch of stuff here you can add something called the initial which is let's say this so 
whenever we are gonna start it's gonna open up when we're gonna click save it's gonna start up with the initial location that is so yeah thanks a lot for watching and if you wanna know like something about the filters i suggest was watching my video on the open file dialog which is quite similar to this one and so yeah thanks a lot for watching sorry that i didn't do this like before it's a simple thing and sorry that i took so long to upload again it's, i don't know why i keep doing this but it's just timing and everything doesn't but still thanks a lot for a thousand subscribers i, I probably will change the channel trailer into something else so yeah thanks a lot for watching and i will see you again in the next video